We got Big Brad Garland House as the 2023's Comeback King. XRP's win over the SEC. Standing on business. The having, I've heard it called the having or the having, but yeah. either one. We're getting to that in April, I think, yep. right? Um, and that's been a bullish thing before. So you thought the SEC should give less clarity to the market rather than more. I understand you thought the uh, token morphing concept would generate a lot of discussion, but when the industry complains about a lack of clarity, I see it was a deliberate policy preference. Does the current SEC chair share that view? So I, I... Uh, still on the very initial stage, but we are like, glad to announce that we invited well-known Ripple company who helped us with a pilot. The ride, pal. It's the What's up, mother duckers? What's up, mother glitches? Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee. Just straight extra, extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub. We got ADF89 in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, smashing them likeies, stuffing some bags. Go ahead. Throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because of futures, extra, extra, bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.66 trillion, up about 3.7 percent in the past 24. We got the trading volume in the last day right around 154 billion. We had XRP in that number five spot right around 62 cents. Stellar XLM right around 12.222. We got BTC on fire up to 43,702 ETH 2269. We got XDC on the rise 13.4%, right around five and a half cents. Clear Networks right around a penny and a half. Songbird 0089 creeping back up to a penny up. 20%. We got one from Ripple to kick things off with the promising fintech growth and increasing consumer demand for digital banking. Africa represents a bright opportunity for the finance sector. Discover the estimated 2.7 trillion market opportunity on our newest faster payments in the Africa. Quick guy, 2.7 trillion and just a small piece of a small pie gets us to the promised lands. We got Big Brad Garland House as the 2023's comeback king. XRP's win over the SEC. Standing on business. And we got Coindesk, Brad Garland House, 2023 comeback king. XRP, we got the victory. The W's continue to pile up. They know what's coming. We know what's coming. And they can't stop the XRP army. Bitcoin Magazine, Justin, CNBC, discussing the Bitcoin having for the first time in history. You have an asset that is more scarce than gold. So question about the, the having, I've heard it called the having or the having, but yeah. either one. We're getting to that in April, I think. Yeah. Right. Um, and that's been a bullish thing before. I sort of wonder, is it the same thing, though? Is that already getting priced in or is this is there something technical that actually happens that would make it be priced in closer to the event? So, the not, event? Um, so what we've seen historically is that the 12 to 16 months after a happening is the best performance of Bitcoin. So that's what everybody's thinking about. Um, this time, you know, this time might be different because the price of Bitcoin is higher. We now only have, I think it's 900 Bitcoin a day that come out. So that gets cut in half. It's not a lot of Bitcoin. But what it does do is it makes Bitcoin more scarce than gold. So for the first time in history, you have an asset that is more scarce than gold. In what way more scarce? Uh, let's call it a stock to Low ratio. So uh, the amount of Bitcoin mined every year divided by the amount, uh, amount outstanding, same with gold. And now there'll be, quote unquote, less Bitcoin than gold mined on a relative basis. All right. The happening is coming. Taking a look here at a video I did back, how XRP correlates with Bitcoin cycle top. This is from November 3rd, 2020, called the Bitcoin top a year before it happened. Days, the Bitcoin cycle to the top. XRP completed its cycle as well just a few days later and went back into the bear market cycle. So now we have here, we should have uh, XRP completing around October, November of 2021, complete its bull cycle around the same as Bitcoin as we have it here charted. Pretty much when these cycles peak, XRP and Bitcoin complete, the cycle is done and it goes into the bear cycle. Once again here, XRP ran uh, towards the end but it did go quicker and faster and completed about the same time as Bitcoin cycle completed. Then we came back down. But like I said, we should look for that to complete around the same time as well. Going into next year, end of next year, 2021, the bull cycle should be completed around October, November of 2021. 
And that's exactly what happened. As we can see here, the last green candle here was October of 2021. Unfortunately, XRP completed before that as the SEC came in to stifle American innovation. XRP completed its cycle around April of 2021, while the rest of the markets completed around October, November of 2021. And going back to the Bitcoin halving cycle, we can see here back of July 2016, right after the halving cycle, things began to ramp up. As you can see here, 153 days later, we had this green candle here. And then you can see, then you can see right after that massive bull run for Bitcoin. Same thing with the most recent one in May of 2020, 153 days later after this halving date, you can see Bitcoin really started to ramp up into that bull cycle. Will history repeat for the BTC halving cycle? We got the next one coming up right around the corner, April of 2024. And if we take this previous cycle from 2016 and line it up with our 2020 cycle, we can get a projection of what's to come for BTC going into the BTC having cycle here. So if this Bitcoin having cycle continues to play out, we should be looking for BTC to really start ramping up going into the summer of 2024, July 2024, August of 2024. And we can look for a possible top off going into August, September of 2025, possibly October once again. BTC having in cycle possibly completing once again July 2025, August, September 2025. Let me know what you think down below. And if we bring in XRP here, you can see the 2016 having in cycle XRP completed around the same time. And then the May 2021 XRP completed before the rest of the markets did in April. That's when the SEC came in to shut things down. As you can see here, the rest of the markets completed few months later in October. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comment section down below. What history repeat? Are we going into this massive having any cycle coming in 2024 ending around 2025? We got one from El Crypto Altcoins. Friendly reminder that the altcoin season index shows that altcoins are moving at the same levels as they did in 2019, 2020. Setting up for that massive SEC base melting pump. We haven't seen anything yet. In my opinion, we got one from Thinking Crypto. It is September 2025, and these are the new all time high prices of the top six cryptos by market cap. How you feeling, XRP? $11. With that being said, the countdown is on the way 135 days until the Bitcoin having. We got Tom Ember. If it wasn't obvious before, it's certainly obvious now. The SEC has the deliberate policy preferences, provide less clarity to the marketplace instead of more clarity, a complete disservice to our great. Capital Markets, Tom Emmer. When Bill Hinman was the director of the SEC's Division of Corporation Finance, he gave a speech on June 14th, 2018, entitled Digital Transactions When Howie Met Gary. In this speech, he famously discussed how tokens can morph from securities to non securities, and he stated that Ether is not a security. Ms. Panic, you reviewed and commented on drafts of the speech, didn't you? Yes, I did. When reviewing a draft, you said that providing, quote, Less detail in the speech was better because the concept of a token morphing from a security to a non-security was a new concept and would generate a lot of discussion. Do I have that correct? I believe so. So you thought the SEC should give less clarity to the market rather than more. I understand you thought the uh, token morphing concept would generate a lot of discussion, but when the industry complains about a lack of clarity, I see it was a deliberate policy preference. Does the current SEC chair share that view? I, I can't really testify about the current chair's view. What I can say is that um, the, the determination whether any particular asset is a security is a facts and circumstances based determination. And what I do as the director of FinHub with my staff is to provide the facts to the folks at the SEC who are making that determination. And it's typically going to be the division of corporation finance. Reclaiming my time because that's a perfect segue. I, has FinHub issued any guidance since Chair Gensler took office to clarify how the security laws apply to crypto? So as I mentioned, FinHub's role is really to be a subject matter expert. So we claiming my time, ma'am. I'm asking a very specific question. Has FinHub issued any guidance? FinHub typically gets involved with other divisions and uh, divisions and offices at the agency who are issuing statements. Claiming my time, I uh, I take the answer is no, because it is no. It seems to be uh, enforcement through uh, or uh, rulemaking through enforcement action. Uh, in his speech, Hinman announced that Ether was not a security, is not a security. Is that your view today? I can't comment on a particular asset. All right. Well, just to back up for a second, you provided feedback on the speech, and so did Brett Redfern, who was then the director of the SEC's Division of Trading and Markets. Yet first, the SEC argued in court that the speech was Hinman's own personal opinion. 
Then the SEC argued that the speech was the opinion of only the Division of Corporation Finance, which Hinman led. But why would people across the SEC, from FinHub to the Division of Trading and Markets, comment on a speech that has the views of only one person or only one division? That doesn't make any sense. I hope you can appreciate that I can't comment on pending matters that are in litigation or investigation. The show's all rigged. They want us out by any means necessary, but the transition is already upon us. We're not going anywhere. We keep on doubling and tripling down. Know what you hold. We got R3. The future is a tokenization of everything, but how can regulated financial institutions benefit plus build a more connected digital economy? Can we actually then pick this back up and see how we can tokenize assets and value and currency and have it operate in a way where these regulated financial institutions can leverage it and also participants can uh, can be part of these networks where they know that they're getting to benefit without introducing new risks. So I think that's what is exciting me for where we've gotten to today and also a little bit of where we potentially can, can get to in the, in the next couple of years. We got one from XRP Drops Georgia and his partnership with Ripple for the CBDC project. We were glad to announce we invited the well-known Ripple company, All Rose Lead, to the bridge. George, we started CBDC project as well, uh, still on the very initial stage, but we are like, glad to announce that we invited well-known Ripple company who helped us with the piloting stage. Also, we will be advanced. I want to just take a step back and say, like, you know, if you look at your vision, let's say five years from now, right? If you can do carte blanche with whatever policy you want, what is the impact that Georgia, what are the results that you wish that Georgia has in five years time? Um, just kind of really hearing your, your vision for the country and for NBG. Uh, it, it will not be like uh, correct from my side because I'm a regulator, first of all, just to have some, uh, you know, quantitative, quantitative, let's say, um, assumptions, but I would like to see Georgia uh, like more advanced in terms of becoming a middle corridor fintech hub. We, we are building physical infrastructure through Georgia. We are already a hub for logistics through our ports. We are serving flows of energy, important pipeline projects, Black Sea submarine, power cable, uh, telecom industry is there also. I think that we have all physical infrastructural projects in place in order to become a good basis for uh, further financial services that could be built on them. We have uh, quite flexible and friendly regulation already and we are flexible again. We are ready to adjust to fine tune it towards needs of the industry. I would like I would like to see more investors on the market because we still have a quite shallow, shallow capital market in these terms. And that's why we're here, by the way, because we have a good uh, platform for uh, startups. We have a good programs for startups. Government is also running a number of programs of co-financing, providing some seed capital for small startups as well. Also co-financing acceleration process. We are like flexible and open in open dialogue. Uh, we are building infrastructure, uh, regional infrastructure for startups like open banking, which is already in place. And now we are speaking yep. about the switching to the open finance approach. We started CBDC project as well, uh, still on the very initial stage, but we are like glad to announce that we invited well known Ripple company who helped us with the piloting stage also we will be advanced the new infrastructure the new pipelines are already being laid down are you plugged in to the new pipelines xrp the xrp ledger welcome to the internet of value xrp is clearly shaking the system not your keys not your crypto keep your xrp offline into cold storage Check out the Scent Wallet, Biometric Wallet, and safeguard your crypto journey. Hit the links down below. Pick yourself up the Bagman discount on the single pack, double pack. The Scent Wallet, your best wallet for XRP, XDC, XLM, Flare, Songbird, Algo, a lot of your other favorite cryptocurrencies. Got one from Coins Kid XRP. This XRP is one of the first rotation stops for the BTC gainers. It always pumps when BTC peaks, also at the apex of a six-year bull pennant. 
I don't actually like XRP, but selling L would be nuts. We got one from Cryptos, TA, XRP still holding the important inverse head and shoulder neckline in the daily 21 MA. As long as we hold above by the daily close, we should be good. We got another one from Coins Kid Weekly, XRP USD is a huge breakout forming here for XRP. Patience is key with XRP, 92 cent zone, one tap, dollar 36 zone, two tap, key support. Green ascending support line, 20 WEMA yellow line. Will XRP march towards zone two or is it about to break down? We got egg rack crypto BTC 15% more than correct to touch the 21 EMA, 51 to 52K than correct. Save this post. And another one from egg rack crypto XLM all time highs. The current XLM chart hints at an exciting prospect as it inches towards escaping the descending channel. Should it successfully surpass the critical 17 and a half mark on the weekly time frame, it's poised to ignite a surge that could be likened to fireworks amped up on steroids. Ready or not, XLM will make haters melt away. Another one from Coins Kid, keeping a close eye on the DXY here. Starting to push up to the daily EMAs. If we see the bottom structure, it could be a clue to the crypto correction. Stay tuned. And with that being said, Batman and Bag Ladies, the redistribution is upon us. The longer they take, the higher we climb on that XRP risk list. What will those bags be with Big Brad Garland House and XRP, the king of utility, return to the top? Later, glitches. I am the XRP Batman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up those bags. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button. From the top ropes, catch you up here. Top floor on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Be your own boss. Peace out, crypto ghost. Later, glitches. Shake this, stuffing bags, been patient, bag man staking, bag man waiting. I got other coins, I diversify. Watch when them rockets burst and fly. Watch when them weekends hurt and die. My moon bags, they all moonified. Shout out to.